going to start with Andy Yanis with the Cougar. Hey, John. Uh, first of all, man, just, just take me through. What are you feeling? What was it like once that final buzzer finally sounded? You say, I, I can't hear you. Take me back. Uh, what, I mean, what was it like? Where were the emotions going that final buzzer finally sounded? Um, just, you know, the relief of, you know, all the hard work we put in to, you know, get to this point and, you know, just being counted out and doubted. Um, you know, just to kind of prove the world, prove the world that we belong here. Um, you know, they tried to say about the, you know, us playing double C's, but, you know, them double C's also um, had to be the single C, you know, in order to get to this point. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just very grateful. All right. Our next question comes from Brian Smith with the Houston Chronicle. Hey, John, you guys talk all the time about the culture of this team and, and tell them to just praising all the players. How, how much did that culture, that team collective, allow you guys to find a way to win this game and reach the final four? Um, well, you know, Oregon State, great team. You know, they, they, they fought back, um, fought back and, you know, kind of had, had us on our heels, but, you know, we were able to get back to our roots um, and rebound the ball, um, play defense. Um, like I said, great team, you know, just, just following, you know, just following the scout report and, you know, just believing in our culture. You know, we, we started to play, play harder than them, you know, the, the, the final couple of minutes and, you know, we were able to pull away and make free throws and, you know, we, now we're here. All right. Our next question comes from Lucas Weiss with the undefeated. Hey, Dejan, congratulations on the win and advancing to the final four. I'm just curious what your thoughts are with you and, and your teammate and friend Bryson being both being from New Orleans, both going to the same high school and now both in the final four. Oh man, I can't even explain the feeling. Um, you know, growing up with Bryson, um, you know, we met in the ninth grade. Um, we'd been through everything together. Um, you know, UMass, um, left UMass, um, attended Big Spring for a year, came to Houston, and that is our third year at Houston. Um you know, it's like a dream come true. Um, we always talked about this, um, you know, being somewhere as a package deal and, you know, not being a Final Four together. That's just a that's just a story that, you know, is worth telling. I um, feel like we definitely deserve a 30 for 30 for this. Um, man, I'm just I'm just very happy to have him on my side as my best friend. And, um, you know, the feeling the feeling is, is unexplainable. All right. Our next question will come from Chris Baldwin. Hey, Dejan, when did you first start thinking a moment like this could be possible at Houston? And what, what does it mean, you know, to do this for, with Coach Sampson as well? Um, honestly, um, when that was, two two years ago with um, with Corey Davis, Galen Robinson, you know, that group, um, I thought it was possible. But, you know, our hopes were shocked when uh, Tyler Hero um, knocked down that three. Uh, he's a great player to, you know, knock us out. But... Uh, even last year, I thought we had a shot if the NCAA tournament, you know, was to be played. But, you know, this year, this whole year, just, you know, just believing in my teammates. Um, those guys believe in me. Um, always say, you know, they're behind me with whatever. And um, I'm grateful to be around this group and have Coach Sampson leading us. Um, man, he's a great, great coach. And, you know, to get this win on his, on, on his thousand game, man, that's just something, you know, just – just work talking about and just um work living and I'm happy I'm happy I'm a part of that you know I'm happy he's my coach I'm happy I came back and you know the story is still being written and um uh, we're in the final four now all right our next question comes from John Title John Title from hoopshd.com uh Dejan I think of you as a defensive player because you were named Conference Defensive Player of the Year, but the last two games, you're almost averaging a triple-double. So how have you been able to balance all the different aspects of your game over the past couple games, if not months? Um, you know, my teammates, my coaches, my family, you know, just always tell me how gifted I am. And, you know, I just go out there every night and just give it my all and, you know, just focus on the little things and just let everything, let everything else happen. Um, you know, we try to focus on the defensive end first and, you know, just let offense take care of itself. Um, you know, just playing my game. Just, you know, like I said, I love seeing my teammates score the ball. So, you know, just trying to distribute, facilitate. Um, you know, if I'm open, I take my shots. Um, I rebound. But, 
you know, just just playing within myself. Um, just just playing my game, really. All right. Our next question comes from Mark Berman. Okay, John, Mark Berman from Fox in Houston. You, you, can you get your arms around what you guys have just done? I mean, you just did something that hadn't been done here in 37 years. I ain't After even. Four I'm, decades. You, you're making history. What do you think? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I, I um, the emotions, um, emotion hasn't, hasn't even set in yet, honestly. Uh, still feel like, you know, still feel like we're playing the game. Um, I think it'll set in once we get to the hotel and settle down. Um, I, my adrenaline is still rushing. Um, man, I'm just, I'm just grateful to be here. Um, like I said, I have my fallen angels leading me. Um, I'm doing this for my brother, Trish. I'm just, man, I'm just grateful. Um, I'm happy, you know, to, you know, bring the excitement back to Houston and, you know, continue with the five slammer jammer did and, you know, just to bring the excitement to the university. And I just, I just love everything about it. I love Houston. I love University of Houston. I love my coaches, love my teammates. And, you know, we're here. But the emotions hasn't even set in yet. All right. Our next question comes from Austin Pedaleo. Dejan, when you think about all this, you know, in 2018-19, you guys lose in the Sweet 16. Last year, you don't have the tournament. Now you're in the Final Four. I mean, you said it hasn't set in yet, but, I mean, just thinking about it, I mean, to get to this point, how gratifying is that? Man, um, it's like a dream come true. You know, growing up, watching the Final Four, watching college basketball, you know, you always think about getting to this point, you know, seeing former players um, on TV um, do this, you know, like, like I say, as a kid, I'm, I'm watching TV growing up. Um, I'm like, I hope I'll be here one day. And, man, I'm really here. Um, never thought I'd see this day, but, you know, God has other plans for, for people. And, you know, God has a plan for me and my teammates. Um, we're here for a reason. Man, I, <laughs> the emotions ain't, the emotions ain't hasn't set in yet, like I said. I'm just grateful, man. All right. We will go back to Myron Metcalf. John, what was it like celebrating after the game without sort of the traditional NCAA tournament vibe? Um, what was that whole feeling like? Um, you know, it would have been way, way litter if, you know, the if COVID wasn't here. But, you know, COVID's here and, you know, it's restrictions. But, um, you know, the Houston family still came out and gave us the support, gave us the love. They were loud. And, you know, just to celebrate, you know, with them, also your family in the stands. Um, you get to see them. Um, you know, you just have to you just have to live life the way it is right now. And you just have to be grateful, you know, for what you can do. And um, you know, I'm grateful to be here. And um, you know, just just to be here while while COVID's here. Um control what you can control and we're controlling what we can control. Um and I, I'm grateful. That, that that's it. I'm grateful. Uh, we in the final four with you know one of the best coaches ever. Um, love my teammates, and you know we're here. Awesome. And our final question comes from Joseph Duarte with the Houston Chronicle. Dejan, when you look back, yeah, when you look back at how everything has gone, and and Coach Sampson's sort of that that message every time about this can happen, that this dream can become a reality. What, what do you remember about those early days when maybe there was, you know, I don't know if there was doubt, but, but you, he always told the same message. Um, you know, it's never, never really was doubt just, you know, following his plan and, you know, the plan he, he, he set in place for us just, you know, going out there every night, playing hard and letting our culture take care of a lot of games, which our culture did today. Uh, like I say, Oregon State uh, far back and, you know, our culture took over. Um, we got on the office of glass. Um, we we got extra possessions. Um, and, you know, we work on that every day in practice. Um, all them sprints in June, July, um, we do it to, to be here in March. And, you know, it was all worth it. Awesome. Doug. Thank you, Dejan, for your time. Appreciate y'all. And that is it for tonight.